Kathy Barnett, founder of the conservative news website TruthExchange.net and radio host on WFYL AM 1180 in Philadelphia, rallies sentiments against Muslim immigrants during the May 5, 2016 meeting of the Lehigh Valley Project 912 Tea Party Group at the Siwiko Banquet Hall in Lower Saucon Township. If you want to undo America, you must create a society where anything goes. You must create a society where good is evil, evil becomes good. You must create a society where you can't say what is true versus what is false. What did um, John Adams say? Our constitution, our way of life, our country, the very foundation of our country can only, uh, is only made for moral and religious people. People who understand good from bad, right from wrong, not people who smuggle in immigrants illegal immigrants and uh, uh, refugees under the cover of darkness when no one is watching. Our leaders are saying, you know what, <laughs> we're going to bring 10,000 Syrian refugees this year into the United States. Next year, let's, um, let's bring 100,000. Well, Islam is not just a religion. How many of you guys know that? Do you really know that? Because all of our leaders come out and say, you know, we can't do a religious litmus test. But it's but you have to understand, and, and that's when I know they don't know what they're talking about, so now I'm gonna tune you out. <laughs> You've already proven to me you have no clue. Islam is not just a religion. Islam is what I call for acronym purposes an RPM. Islam is a religion, it's a political system with the Sharia law, and it is a mil it has a military aspect with it yeah. anymore, but we have every right to distinguish and to discriminate against worldview. All worldviews are not equal. How many of you now know that? Have I helped anyone who didn't hold their hand at the first time? You are not a racist just because you reject Islam. Now again, you may be a racist because of some other things, but you are not a racist just because you reject Islam. Because I do not reject, and I do not encourage you to reject Syrians, people, right? I'm not, I wanna make myself clear. I'm not saying to reject Syrians. I have a problem with Muslim Syrians. I have a problem with Syrians that have the worldview of Islam. I have a problem with the fact that ISIS has already told us that they're going to use the Syrian refugee resettlement program to infiltrate us. I have a problem when I look across the pond and I see how that has actually happened and the, and the, and the consequences of that. I have the right to be able to take my son to a movie and not expect to be blown up or shot. There's no negotiation with these people. They stood there and they just gunned them all down. I have a right to be able to go to an airport and not expect to be blown up. Right? But we have people in high places that says, no, 